What's going on everybody? Hey, before we get going with this video, if you need some quick money, you definitely want to check out Instacart right now. They are exploding all over the nation. They're pretty much one of the biggest forms of business right now. They actually have so many deliveries available that there's just not enough drivers to give them that some of these deliveries will sit for over a day before someone actually completes them. So you definitely want to check out Instacart. It's really good money right now. We've also got a great promotional code to offer, so check out the link in the description. You could get a bonus of up to $1,000, depending on your market, uh, for doing 100 to 125 deliveries in your first month. That's like four to seven deliveries a day. Uh, and what else do you really got to be doing right now? So definitely want to check that out, especially if you're in need of some money because of tight times. That is going to be your best bet for making money right now. All right, on to the video. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Rideshare Hub. My name is Greg. Uh, for one, hope you guys are staying safe during these trying times and finding ways to make money, get new ideas, and staying inspired. It's a crazy, crazy time and I think it might be getting crazier amidst the Uber and Lyft world. So this video is actually on some like incredibly recent news about Uber and Lyft. Uh, as if Uber wasn't already in enough questionable air with their CEO and everything stepping down, they're going to be laying off 5,400 of their 27,000 employees. It's like a 20% cut. Um, and Lyft is going to be um, terminating almost 1,000 employees as well. And that's 17% of its uh, workforce. Along with like hundreds of other employees receiving pay cuts. Lyft said it aims to reduce operating expenses and adjust cash flows in light of the ongoing economic challenges um, and the impact on the company's business during these pressing times, man. The ride hailing also implemented reductions in base salary for exempt employees for a 12 week period. Wow. <laughs> And the company estimates that it will incur approximately 28 to $36 million of restructuring and related charges, primarily related to employee severance and benefits costs, uh, the majority of which the company expects to incur in the second quarter of 2020. <laughs> that sounds very, very promising. Um, and then, yeah, so Uber's reported to lay off 20% of its work workforce. Uh, layoffs of that magnitude could be announced in stages in the coming weeks, as Uber said the report, and uh, as long-serving Uber's CTO quit the company as well. Holy cow. Members of Uber's engineering team will perform these duties until the company finds a permanent CTO. Wow. As you'd expect, the company is looking at every possible scenario to ensure we get to the other side of the crisis in a stronger position than ever, according to a direct take a direct take on the Lyft report that I highly, I don't know, that this is just crazy. Oh man, earlier this month, the company also withdrew its financial forecast for 2020 and said it would write down about $2 billion in investments hit by the crisis. Uber is set to report earnings for its first quarter on May 7th. I'm very, very pumped to see those numbers. <laughs> And uh, Uber's current CEO said, as the leader of our engineering organization for the last seven years, Pham, who is the uh, CTO, I think that's how you say his name, has made important contributions that have helped make Uber uh, the global tech platform it is today. Shares of Uber were flat and extended Tuesday trading after the stock closed at 30 and 12 cents. Man. So that's some pretty crazy news. Um, Uber laid off. 5,400 employees. And the other thing I read somewhere else is that like all their major vice presidents and presidents were taking pay cuts of upwards of 30%. What does this mean for us? Well, I've, ne I've always been a skeptic on both companies and especially whenever they start doing stuff like this. I feel like the whole company is going to get restructured. I really feel like the way we've seen Uber and Lyft, I don't think it'll ever be the same again. I don't think they have the finances right now to push for automation. If automation happens soon, I would literally guess that it comes from Tesla or somebody else who thinks, hey, these companies are drowning. 
let's push for automated cabs essentially right now and we'll beat them at their own game. Um, I don't, yeah, I just don't see how they're going to be able to bounce out of this. So, I mean, you just kind of look at what's happened. So the CEO stepped down, the CTO stepped down, and they lay off 5,400 employees, which out of, what was it, I think I said 27,000, that's a massive amount of people. That is like a crazy, crazy, crazy number. They're, they're scraping and clawing to stay alive, is what it seems like. Um, it honestly was shocking to me how much smaller Lyft's workforce is. Like, they only eliminated 1,000, and that was, like, just as big of a hit for them. <laughs> Lyft is still, like, the uh, baby startup, it feels like. Um, but, yeah, so I... I don't know what to say that I haven't like already really said about these companies a hundred times because I feel like I've been saying this stuff to you guys for, I mean, like since the chan like I first started on the channel, um, I always thought it was going to be automation that kind of changed Uber and Lyft and changed the platform and changed our ability to drive and how we would drive, but. You know, this this whole crisis that's going on is probably going to be the very thing that's just the nail in the coffin for them. Like I said, I, I, I think they're big enough that they're going to still survive. But my theory now is that it's just going to be a totally different app. I doubt we're going to have the freedom and flexibility we wanted. I'm guessing, and I thought this a while back too, that they were going to work towards a system where... We all got a base pay of 12 to 13 an hour or something like that. And you wouldn't make any more, but you wouldn't make any less, you know. Um, it'd be maybe base pay plus tips is how they would keep it at least moderately exciting so you could still make really good money off tips. But the problem that I see is that they're going to have to develop a system like this because there's already enough of a push for us to get benefits and things like unemployment, which as we're seeing in a time like this, this is where, you know, a lot of drivers have always been saying, hey, this is why we need to be treated like real employees. Because if anything happens, like, we're done. We're screwed. Everybody else will be okay. We won't. And that's kind of what this proved, is that this happened. And, I mean, a lot of us were getting deactivated just for applying for sick leave on pretty justified reasoning, you know? And... We can't get the benefits, you know, it's like everything always turns south on Uber and Lyft. And it's it's always been tougher for what we do to, like, operate normally in society because it's not really considered a real job. It's considered this side gig hustle that you can do to make some, some extra bucks. So I think the only way they're going to survive is they're going to have to restructure the entire system. And it's going to strip us of all the reasons we all love doing this. I feel like the freedom, the flexibility ability to drive whenever and wherever you want. And I said this in another video, uh, I talked about how in New York and California, they were already pushing for this. And there was going to be areas like in Manhattan, for instance, that are really busy, where it's going to know if X amount of drivers are in this zone and based on like who has or hasn't been driving the longest would get kicked out of that zone. So you might drop off a ride in that area, but you wouldn't even be able to get a consecutive ride because it would make you drive in like a three mile radius out of that zone. So there, there's things like that that were already going to happen that I feel like are going to honestly be implemented from this. Um, I do think, like I said, I do think they'll survive. I don't, th I don't think it's like the demise of them, but it still very well could be. Uh, this is a really unpredictable era we're living in right now. Like, it's nutty. It's really nutty. So, I'll be floored if they go completely under. You know, they'll find some way to claw their way out. But the only way they're going to be able to make it work is either take way more money from us, which at this point I think they know if they do that, drivers would just be done. Anyone who's driven for, like, more than a year would probably just quit F that because... We've just all gotten sick of it. And if you've driven three, four years like I have, you know, and some of you even longer, five, six, seven or whatever, you know, you saw all the cuts and you've watched it go down, 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 down. And there's a point where it was dependable and it was already getting to the point where it wasn't as dependable. Where it's at after this, I think will be 
really interesting. I'm predicting a brand new Uber and Lyft. I think it'll be unlike anything we've ever seen. But I still am holding fast to my theory that some other company is going to get autonomous cars out because I thought, you know, if this crisis does continue, it'd be the perfect way of having autonomous vehicles with no driver that would take people to only their most necessary appointments, chores, hospitals, whatever are like the most important things for people to do. I was like, I could see this like fully autonomous taxi company starting and they would even get some like government funding maybe to where they could have X amount of cars out for emergency driving during these times. And I feel like that's how they would beat the curve, right? And, and win out on a company like Uber and Lyft. So yeah, do some more research on this. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I guess only time will tell, but I hope you liked this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys soon.